take a look at what's happening today. Finally getting this piece on. Finally managing to get the back panel on. That side's cut. This side's cut. This left hand side's better than the right hand side, but it'll do. So I'm just busy lining this up, getting this to fit, clamping it in place. Finding out why that's not lining up. Up there. Oh, they're doing well to get it. Ah, knock that down a bit. Yeah, they'll do well this bit in place. Because the shell's a bit jiggly at the minute <laughs> without this on. So I'm going to put this back on just to strengthen it back up so it stops moving about a bit. That's what I'm going to do today. Right Japs, that lines up one spot weld, two, three, that how it lines up, four spot welds, that hole lines up, and then we've got a little tap there, and a little tap there, and then if we come round, I'll put my string line on across the two centre points of the bins. And then I measured from there to there. Where's my tape measure? And we get 181 there. And we get 181 there. And we've also got three spot wells holding it to the floor and two V clamps or wall bibs and the thing's just gone tight that's it so it's in now and I've just done measurements <laughs> done measurements from there across to me pin central pin and I've got 599 and the same on the other side from that bulkhead or oh, to the pin there I've got 599 and we're still in line there. So I think that's about as square as I can get it. I think I'll just go for lashing it in. First quarter fit. You'll be thinking I'm a long way off the quarter, but I think it's relevant to fit the quarter now because uh, a lot of the gear underneath here, all the arch and that and the inner panels line up. So I'm putting the, getting the quarter on in a rough place just so I can mark across here and across there because now the old quarter is just getting in the way of lining everything up i've got my line down here which lines up with the center of here this is all clamped in place and it's got a little bolt there that needs tapping across and bolting in and tap them down but all this needs lining up and the only way I can line all that up see there and here is by putting the quarter on and getting rid of the old quarter so I'm going to cut it off but not before I haven't lined these up
a daisy. Got that to repair now. Yeah, it was pr pretty rotten. That's why that was getting replaced. Look at that. Shall I have a look underneath it? Oh, look at that. Yeah. That was gone. Whoops. Look what some idiot's done with the grinder. Whoops. Cutting up there. Forgot the cable was behind there. There's another job to repair. Right. Can you see it? Got the quarter panel off. You've seen us cut it off in the other video. We've got to keep the waste reel on because that's our reference point for the gap, for the window gap. So the quarter panel goes up to that edge. And I've chose to take it off right the way down. As you can see, I've seen some restorers leave a bit of the quarter panel on about an inch, uh, about down there. It stops having to replicate the joint or stops you having to weld down here, which is a bit awkward. Well, I never understood why they did that. Because under the panels, usually on the quarters, you get this. Now I've never changed a quarter panel on a mini and never seen just a bit of rot here. So that gives you a chance to give it a clean off and prep and protection. I think this shell's had a canny bit paint because there's a hell of a step there. Anyway, but you get a chance to clean all this edge up and do it properly. So that's the quarter off and prepped. Ready to go back on. I can now finish the welds on the this wheel here and finish all these spot welds before I put the quarter on. That's why I needed to take it off. So that's why I had to come off. I can get the spot welder in there, across there, possibly get it down this bit, and that all needs tidying up. That's why the quarter had to come off. And look at the rot on the uh, waste wheel. Once in, when the new quarter's back on, then I've got new waste reels to this. So this is a, this is what I'm seeing up is a waste reel. So that's your new waste reel. And that goes in there. Again, it, it's it's common for a mini to go there. All right, just had a drive across to the uh, aptly named Basra or the war zone, as you can see around us. Eddie's working on the Mazda inside, so let's go and take a look. Another vehicle added to the fleet. Eddie's daughter's vehicle, uh, new vehicle. Right, let's see what he's in. Yeah, got the Mazda in, as we've alluded to in the previous video. Where's he at? What's he doing? What's he got rigged up? My. Where's he at? There he is. It's much easier to do this wiring when there's no suffering. Is that what you're doing? Right. Bring it in, that gets hidden. Right. New engine mount. So for those of you who don't know, this is Adam's MX-5. We've had it a few times over the last year or two, Eddie, was it? Hi. We did a recommission on it, and now it's in for a brand new second-hand uh, auto gearbox. What was the problem, Eddie? Just wasn't going backwards. It would only go backwards if you pushed it. It wouldn't? Or wouldn't, yeah. yeah. You have to put it on the... Uh... So that's the old unit down on the floor. This is Eddie's labour of love. He's been doing this in the new unit. Not that he's missed much of the summer with it, to be honest. Because we've had a crap summer up till now, haven't we? Aye. Eddie's also busy going to delete the aircon from it. As you can see, there's the aircon radiator. Blown a bit. And that's all the ancillaries over there. That's just going to be deleted. So you're doing a delete on it as well, aren't you? Indeed. And he's tidying up just some hard to reach bits of rust. And he's giving it a clean out in the engine bay. Now he's just putting it back up or back in. What else have you had to do, Eddie? You did some seals on the end. So I've done the front crank seal, rear crank seal, because um, they were leaking oil both of them. You can see how black the inside of the bell housing is on that one. 
Oh, I'm not. I'm not gonna. <laughs> Sick of moving that and getting oil all over the place. Look, there's a patch there, there's a patch there. Brand new second hand concrete floor is full of oily, oily, oily. So that's that's the update in Basra. The Mazda's in again. So how are you finding the new uh, workshop, Eddie? Class. What do you think? I'm sick, uh, yeah. Working in the back street, moving cars every three minutes because someone wants to get past to so having a nice dry unit where I'm not getting rained on and worn down. It's fantastic. And it also means the space in the yard to put someone else in. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't tell clearly. <laughs> you just asked. She didn't watch it, man. She just pretend she has. Uh, I'll be watching your video. Why are you? Of course I have. It's mint. <laughs> You're going to be a superstar. <laughs> so I went two steps back tonight, but needed to move forward. So I took all the front of the engine off again because there was two bolts I undone to get the water pump off behind here um, when I was doing all the timing and everything. And there was two bolts I took off the top cam cover plate that I woke up about three o'clock in the morning thinking, did I tighten them back up? Um, so I've took it all apart and yeah, I did tighten them up. Um, but I'd rather check and be safe rather than uh, something coming loose. So that's all put back together. And then the exhaust manifold. Um, that new bolt there is the one that we had to drill out the other day. So that was replaced and when I was putting it all back together uh, the other day, this bottom one decided that it didn't want the nut to go back on it and shear it off. So I've had the manifold off again tonight and I've re-drilled that, drilled out the stud, put a new nut in, nut and bolt, so it's all back together. So I spent a good few hours just redoing stuff to make sure that everything was done right. Hopefully tomorrow all being well, I'm going to get the fluids in. Um, as I say, that spark plug snapped, but I bought four new ones, so I'm going to change all the spark plugs, make sure I'm happy there. And then we will fill gearbox oil. We'll check engine oil. We'll do coolant. And then we'll try for a start up. Um, back in the garage, as usual. Exhaust, heat shield to go on. I've got the interior panels to go in. Um, then she needs a good clean, and then I need to try and get our front bumper off because all the bolts are crusty. But I will endeavour to get it for an MOT next week. So hopefully by the weekend, maybe it's Monday night, Tuesday night, this will be back down mine. Um, and then I'll put the van in here so I can stop the engine on the van. But she works. I'm in the garage this morning, just trying to um, set up the sp spot well here. It's done a lot of work, done a lot of work on Yorkie, but it's still not finished on this side, because I can't get into this point. And it seems to be blowing chunks of the spot welder anyway. I'm giving it a bit of a service, so I've been servicing the tips on the uh, spot welder with the trusty file. I've had a build up of um, 
maybe carbon or metal or something. So I'll just zoom in, I'll show you. So that's all cleaned up now. Had bits of crap all over it. It looked dirty like that one. So I'm busy cleaning them down. I'm gonna take that one out. I'm gonna file that one down, file it smooth again. And then I'm gonna tilt it so the jaws are it's like that that one and that one and then it allows us to um get in there easier so that's what i'm doing this morning then i'll uh, finish off the spot welds along the sill and i'm going to take the waste reel off and fit the waste reel and that's that side complete then i'm going to move on to the other side wish us luck yeah that's much better Clean out. Oh, what's that? No, no black spot on there. Get rid of that. Almost gone. It's going to require a bit of a, a file. Oh, that'll do nicely. Let's set the welder up now. This is what I mean about setting them up. So turn that one. So they're slightly kicked. Not much. And you've got to make sure they got. Not far off. Done it a few times before now. It works. Give him a nip. That's the old waste wheel took off. And the new race wheel. All prepped. That kind of just fell off. It's not pretty like, is it? Yeah, we couldn't have left that on. Let's have a look on the back. Ooh. Nasty. Ah. I'll jump in and you can see all the prep right along where the spot welds are going to be and that fits in there there's a new race wheel fitted so I'll clamp it in place spot welded in place I'll see if I can put the video camera somewhere to get a video of it getting welded in Clean the coggles, bash me head, double check, that's all right, Matt, yeah, good to go. I checked on the same sailor as well early on it's perfect so this um, new Dynax same sailor from Build Hamba perfect exactly what we were looking for if you're looking for some the link for this is in the description below but as you can see the quarters on now that's all on but what else we got on we also got ooh, the lower valance at the back is on now that's all spot welded right across now take a look at it underneath there it is so what that represents is we've now got a mini or a shell of a mini that's 100 percent every single external panel is finished on this mini now on Sam's Mini. It represents about 200 hours of work to get it to this stage, which is a lot of hours. We've still got them panels, that one there, to fasten, fasten in, weld in, that one there, to dress back in. 
Um, we received some welds along there and the same on that side. Oh, aye, and, and the waste reel. See the waste reel? But in terms of external shell, it's all done. And it's looking really nice. Ooh, I've got that gutty bit to do still. Well, I'll figure that out later. Right, what we're doing tonight. These bits, these are the bits I've been missing. Been down to M Machine in Darlington today. Lovely place, love going down there. Been going down there for a while. It's ideal, it's not on our doorstep, but it's, it's close enough to call it on our doorstep. And that, I mean, I would say it's a better grade steel. It looks a hell of a lot thicker. Um, but I've had M Machine panels in the past and they've been brilliant. I don't know why I don't use a lot more M Machine panels. I think we're going to have to see exactly what they do. Because there's a lot of restorers say that um, they're better than the British Motor Heritage ones, which I tend to agree sometimes. I fitted sills, M Machine sills, and they were like straighter than British Motor Heritage anyway. Enough said. These are going there. Testament to whoever fitted the arches in the boot floor because these just fit up lovely. Got a mark them around. So I know where I've got to clean the e coat off. Down there, and then the weld up there, and the weld up there. So that one, and then that one. Do the same. I'll bring the camera in in a minute to show you. Clean them off. So you can see the outline. I'll clean all that off. Last two panels to be fitted, and then the mini's complete. The shell's complete. It's a big chunk of work done. It's took us a while. Well, I've only been working it on night times, evenings, weekends, that kind of thing. Almost at the bodywork stage now. So that's oh, that's brilliant. I'm chuffed to bits with it. So just a quick refresh on what we've actually done. Full bulkhead, full inner wings, outer wings, front panel. And we moved down the sides and we've done full hinge panel, inner, outer and finishing panel. Um, top dash rails changed. Uh, in a sill and then obviously the full full new floor full boot floor which comes up and creates the seat squab new courtesy bins uh well oh yes we did repairs on the ear pillars here this repair if you can see it and a repair over that side so that side was repaired as well uh, and then we did all the closing panels inside the courtesy bins, new arches, did repairs down here and across the other other side. Uh, uh, yeah, the parcel shelf repairs right across there. That was all repaired, this bit here. Can you see it now? And then we moved on to the back. Ooh. Whole new rear rear panel, and there's the boot floor, arches, and then the strengthening panels in there. And then we moved on to underneath the rear valance. It's all done now, so an absolute ton of work done on this one. This mini's finished, so. If you like what we're doing give us a thumbs up and leave your comments below we'll put uh, a few links in for a machine in the description but we'll keep on going and we'll keep on doing it and try and keep you updated but that's it for now i'll uh, get on with welding them panels in